Cracking the Code series, Nutrition Edition. As you sit down to breakfast, we are breaking down some common misconceptions about your favorite foods, from coffee to eggs. And nutritionist Maya Feller is here to help us Woo! break it all down and crack the code. Yeah. I have to say, I like to crack some eggs in the morning. And there are some back and forth about whether or not eggs are actually good for you, and specifically egg yolks. So tell us the truth. So, you know, nutrition is an ever-evolving science, right? In the past, we thought no egg yolks. Now we're saying egg yolks can be consumed safely for the general public. We also know that when people eat eggs, they tend to make better food choices throughout the day because they're not as hungry. Right, they make you feel full. Absolutely. They also deliver vitamin D as well as B12. I mean, it's a fantastic choice. All right, you just made my day because I love eggs in the morning. And the other thing I really love in the morning is coffee. So, again, back and forth, you hear it's good for you, you hear it's bad for you what is it I had two cups this morning myself. <laughs> okay, good. Me too. I'm on cup number two. Exactly. So the thing about coffee is that what we found in recent research is that it might actually help slow the progress of some degenerative diseases. We know that coffee also has some polyphenols in it and that they're great antioxidants. So we say right now it's okay for people to consider having one to three cups. If they're caffeine sensitive, they can still reap the benefits from having decaf coffee. Okay, so you still get all the good from it. You just don't maybe get the jitters like exactly. the rest of us when we're on our third cup of coffee. That's right. Okay, so another thing that is a big uh, fan favorite in my house is peanut butter, and I've heard both. It, it's true. I don't know if it's good or bad. I try to limit it, but I, let's hear what you have to say. So one of the things that I love about peanuts is that it's a really great source of protein. Also, it has some heart protective benefits in it. The other thing about peanuts is that we see that there's folic acid, which is wonderful. You know, there was the thinking in the past that you peanuts were, you know, too high in fat, but now we're saying as part of a healthy diet, you can simply have a serving of peanuts a day and you're going to be fine. And the fat makes you full. Absolutely. Keeps you from, you know, reaching for carbohydrates or unhealthy things later in the day. And I also want to ask you really quickly about dairy because, uh, you know, skim milk, whole milk, full fat dairy, what are, what are your thoughts on that? So the current research is saying that when people actually consume full fat dairy, they tend to make better food choices, similar to all of this, right? The other thing that we see when people consume full fat dairy is that they're staying fuller longer. There are less highs and lows in terms of their blood sugar. And it seems to be part of an okay, healthy diet consumed in moderation. All right.